Good evening everyone. Today is the 27th of June. It's Tuesday evening. I've entitled this um, message Living in the Midst of Babylon. Living in the Midst of Babylon. You know, I think many people have become so desensitized by living in Babylon that they don't even realize that we're living in the midst of Babylon. What do I mean when I say Babylon? Well, Babylon is a place that's contemptuous, oppressive, degenerate, immoral, full of vice, a city that is devoted to materialism and sensual pleasure, a symbol of worldliness and evil. Yes, it was an ancient city of ancient Mesopotamia first settled around 3000 BC, but I'm talking about today's Babylon. I'm talking about the United States of America. A city, a place of great luxury, sensuality, uh, perversion, homosexuality, corruption. You know, and the people are held captive and they don't even realize they're captive in a city of Babylon. You know, they don't even realize it. They become desensitized. They become so mind controlled over the years they don't even realize what they're living in the midst of. You know. But we're living, we're there. We are there. You know, the word Babylon is mentioned uh, 260 times in the Bible. And most of the time it is mentioned is in it's it's mentioned in a negative light. Not a lot of good things is said about Babylon. You know. One of these days Babylon is gonna fall. We're told about that in the book of Revelation, aren't we? And it's gonna come it's gonna fall rel relatively su suddenly. Well Jeremiah 51 49 as Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth and I will punish Bel in Babylon and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath swallowed up and the nations shall not flow together any more unto him yea the wall of Babylon shall fall we're living folks in the midst of Babylon And there's a lot of people out there that are into denial. They think that, you know, America is God's country. I'm here to tell you, America is not God's country. America is the devil's country. Look around you. Cannot you see all the perversion and the moral degeneracy and the materialism and the lust for power and the disintegration of this culture. I 
Isaiah 13, 19, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Jeremiah 50, 23, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Revelation 17, 5, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. I've heard many people say, you can't say the United States is modern-day Babylon. Yes, I can. You know, we look around America today, and it has all of the... Uh, it's synonymous with ancient Babylon. It's full of vice and immorality and corruption and evil. That's what it is. Look at the public school system. Look at education. Look at our corruption in our government. Jeremiah 50, 13, Because of the wrath of the Lord it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all of her plagues. God's not going to bless Babylon. People sing God bless America. Why should God bless America with all of its absolute propensity towards evil? He would have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah if he blessed America. Babylon has a golden cup in her hand, you know, and I know people don't want to hear this <coughs> because they want to believe that they're living in God's country. They want to believe they're living in God's country, but I'm here to tell you this is not God's country. Jeremiah 51, 7, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad. That's exactly what's happening in America today. All you have to do is listen to our leaders and what comes out of their mouth. It's abomination. What comes out of their mouth is an abomination. Revelation 18:21 and the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it in the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all It's coming, folks. It's coming. John on the Isle of Patmos saw it 2,000 years ago plus. He saw what was coming upon this earth, and he saw Mystery Babylon, modern day Babylon. He saw what was coming. Jeremiah 51, 47, Therefore, behold, the day is come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Do you think that that does not apply to today? 
do you think that was just relevant for ancient Mesopotamia? Revelation 16, 19, And the great city was divided into three parts. The cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. God is going to judge this nation. He's going to judge this nation. Babylon is going to be brought down. And Revelation 18, 2, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's a good description of America, is it not? You say, oh, well, modern-day Babylon is, is Israel or, or some other. You know what? It may be very well Israel may be included in that one of those three cities. My point is, is that modern-day Babylon also includes America, whether you want to agree with that statement or not. That's your business, but that's what I believe. You know, they want to talk about exceptionalism. Exceptionalism. What's exceptional about America other than the fact that it's totally degenerate, debauched, you know, totally uh, full of debauchery is what it's full of and so that's kind of what's on my mind tonight we're living in the midst of Babylon and and it's it's just prevalent throughout all of our culture it's in our banking system it's in our educational system it's in our churches, it's in our movie theaters, it's in our entertainment, it's in our sports, it's in our government, the legislative, judicial, and executive branch of our government. Modern day Babylon has risen to heights of never before in terms of its debauchery. So my job tonight was to desensitize you to being comfortable in Babylon. May the good Lord be with you is my prayer. God bless.